Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump gets last laugh on Mexico's president who wore shirt with stupid message about him. The relationship between President Trump and the Mexican government and president have been escalating in recent days because of the announcement that additional National Guard troops would be sent to the border. However, now the former president of Mexico is heating up the relationship and not in a good way. Former Mexican President Vicente Fox wore a t-shirt that taunted President Trump by saying that he cannot build a wall because his hands are too small. A pun and play off of the joke that went on between Republican presidential candidates during the 2016 presidential election. The Hill reported. The shirt depicts Trump as a baby building a wall with toy blocks while wearing a soiled diaper made from the American flag, jabbing at Trump's long-standing promise to build a border wall along the southern border. The size of Trump's hands became a running joke during the 2016 presidential campaign, most notably when used by former primary challenger Senator Marco Rubio, Republican Florida, during a debate. Trump's push for border wall funding from Congress fell short last month, when lawmakers passed an omnibus spending package that included only $1.6 billion of the $25 billion Trump asked for extra border security measures and wall construction. This week Trump ordered deployment of the National Guard to protect the southern border while also touting the start of construction on some areas of the border wall. Fox, a one-time opposition leader of Mexico's right-wing party, has become one of Trump's loudest foreign critics, endlessly ridiculing the president for his efforts to stem the flow of immigrants into the U.S. Proceeds from the shirts will go toward the former Mexican president's non-profit group Centro Fox, which aims to develop training for leaders dedicated to serving their community in Mexico and Latin America, according to the group's website. While The Independent reported, Mr. Fox has been a staunch critic of the president's plans to build a border wall between Mexico and the U.S., as well as his intentions to renegotiate the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA. In March, Mr. Trump's plans received a setback after lawmakers awarded him only $1.6 billion, £1 1.14 billion pounds, of the $25 billion he had requested for the construction of the wall and for extra border security measures. Money raised from the T-shirts will be used to fund Mr. Fox's non-profit group, Centro Fox, which provides training for leaders in Mexico and Latin America, he said. Mr. Fox served as the president of Mexico for six years from 2000 to 2006. While annoying as this situation has been there are more pressing matters going on in Mexico at the moment. Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto recently gave a press announcement to Mexican news outlets on Thursday afternoon where he rebuked the president and his efforts to construct the southern border wall. He said that Mexico is willing to cooperate with the United States however they will not do it if it means giving up their sovereignty or dignity. In the address, Payne and Nieto noted that he and all the other presidential candidates who had lost to him had previously rebuked Trump's comments and emphasized he believes that President Trump's comments are a result of frustration with domestic policy issues. Furthermore, he urged the president and his administration to turn to Congress to remedy any such issue. However, Mexico, Canada, and the United States are currently in the middle of intense negotiation over the North American Free Trade Agreement. Something that has been a point of contention for the Trump administration and something he has arguably said he wanted to get rid of. This could be in large part why Payne and Nieto decided to comment on the president's recent sending of troops to the border. The Washington Post reported. In the past few decades, Mexico has become a far more cooperative partner of Washington in fighting drug trafficking, terror threats and illegal migration. But Mexican politicians have called for reducing bilateral cooperation if Trump militarizes the border. Trump's move comes as Mexico is in the midst of a hotly contested campaign for president. The leading candidate is Andres Manuel López Obrador, a center-left populist. On Wednesday, he responded to Trump's latest moves by declaring that we will not accept the use of force, the militarization of the border. Mexico's Senate on Wednesday unanimously approved a non-binding resolution that urged the government to end cooperation with the United States on illegal immigration and drug trafficking because of Trump's plans to deploy National Guard troops. Ricardo Anaya, the presidential candidate for a left-right coalition, went further, calling on Mexico to curb its anti-terrorism cooperation until the Guard members are withdrawn. Despite the outcry, some Mexican analysts and border residents said they expected little practical effect. David Q. Audemars Galindo, mayor of the border city of Nogales, said Trump's comments generate a certain amount of scandal but no fear in his city. He noted that most of Trump's threats, to massively deport undocumented immigrants, expel young dreamers who have had temporary U.S. residency or crack down on work visas, had not come to pass.
In practice, on all these themes, it's the opposite of his speeches, he said. As far as the construction of a wall, here in Nogales, we have a barrier that was built years ago. It won't make a bit of difference. Given all of these variables, it would simply be petty for Mexico to undertake such corrective action. Not assisting the United States in drug trafficking cases and illegal immigration doesn't only hurt the United States it hurts them as well. This will do nothing for them in the long haul except for temporarily make headlines. Furthermore, the former president's actions in mocking President Trump only put fuel in the fire. But President Trump gets the last laugh in the end because he is sending back illegal criminal aliens back over the border where they came from. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.